Good morning, KG2. Today, our maths lesson is making lists, pictograms, and graphs. Let us begin with the first slide. Favorite fruit, making a list. Look carefully at all the fruit which you have. You want to make a list now to see when you make a list, you, you, you write in the list how many you want of each item. Now, the items we have here are four, four items, different things. We want apples, we want pears, we want bananas, and we want grapes. Now, we're going to make our list. Look here, make a list of the fruit, right? So, can you tell me now how many items do we have here? We have four items. Those are the things which we want to buy. We want to buy apples, we want to buy pears, we want to buy bananas, and we want to buy grapes. Now, when you go to a supermarket, you take a list with you and you write. So your mommy says to you, make a list. You get a sheet of paper. I want you to get a sheet of paper and make your list. Look at the fruit here. Abdul Karim. Abdul Karim Nasser, I want you to get a sheet of paper. Mansoor also in KG2D, get a sheet of paper and write this down. Hassan, especially all of you, I want you to get a sheet of paper and your pencil and make a list. And I want you to send it to me by email to your teacher. I'm going to see it. Now, you've got apples, pears, bananas and grapes. Bananas. How many bananas do you want to buy from the shop from your, to write in your list? Look at this here. It's a table. It's a small table. And you're going to count how many bananas? One, two, three, four, five, six. So next to the word banana, you put number six. Very good. Now let's finish our list as well. Grapes. Look at the grapes. How many bunches of grapes do you want to get? One, two. You put next to the grape number two and then you've got the apples see how many and the pears and you have to do that for your list that is how you make a list do you understand now how to make a list number two the pictogram shows how pupils go to school here is a pictogram showing how children go to school each picture happy face represents one child okay so you've got children who walk to school children who go by bike children who go by car and children who go by bus okay i'll go over it with you and let's see children who walk to school there are two two happy faces children who go bike in go by bike in the green color happy faces one two three four five five you can count them or you get your ruler and go to the top of the green the last one at the top and go to the left and go and see which number it marks that last green one number five now the children who go by car in blue one two three four five six seven now you get your ruler and put it at the top of the blue one at the tip and go to the left and you'll see number seven. And the children who go by bus, one, two, three, four. Get your ruler and put it across to number four and you'll see that there are four. Very good. Get your, get your workbooks and have a look at what I'm saying. It's all there. Let's have a look at the questions here, okay? How many more pupils go by car than bike? Now look at this question. I want you to tell me how many more students go by car than bike. What did I tell you before in the first lesson which we did? I want you to put a circle on more. Yes, and put a circle on than, more than, right? Then we're going to put a line under the two ways they go to school i've said here by car so you put a line under car and bike put a line and then we said what do we do to find the difference more right more than what do i do i look at the car which has the bigger number 
Number seven, I will put seven. Then what would I add or take away? I will take away, right? So seven take away. How many go by bike? We said five. So seven take away minus five equals how many? Do it on your fingers or do it with the circles. Whatever you have in front of you, you can... Cross them out if you want when you do the circles. So seven take away five equals how many? Do with your fingers, put seven fingers up and take away five. How many fingers do you have left? Yes, excellent, you have two. So equals two. So that is how many more, that's how many more students go by car than the bike. See, that's how we did the first one. Remember what we said, fewer means less, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to put a circle on fewer and then we're going to put a circle on van and we're going to put a circle on bike and a, uh, a line on bike and a line under car. And we're going to see, we're going to start, we look at the bigger number, which is the car, very good. We've put there seven minus five equals very good equals two so that means the the pupils who go by bike are less in two than the pupils who go by car they are fewer by how many by how many pupils by two pupils so that means that means they are less than the ones who go by car. So it is the same. Number three, most of the pupils go to school by, look which one is the highest, the circles the most, which ones and write the number down. Very good. Number three, class pets. Here is a block graph showing children's pets. Each block represents one child, right? So look at the rabbit and there's a fish and there's a hamster, there's a dog and there's a cat. Let's answer these questions and see. If we want to see how many children, how many pupils have a rabbit, what do I do? Yes, I count the blocks. So how many pupils have rabbits? Let's see. One, we count the blocks because each block represents one child, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I put six at number one. Number two, I have to fill in this blank with how many pupils have this picture and it's a dog. So I go to the dog and I count. What do I count? I count the blocks. Very good. One, two, three. Very good. So number two, I put three pupils have dog, a dog. Right. The children's favorite pet is. How do I know that? How do I know what is the favorite pet for these children? So there are more children who have this pet because this pet has the has more blocks than any other pet. So we'll see it's the hamster. We can see it and it has seven. So seven children or pupils have what? Hamster. Very good. They have a hamster. Now, which, which pet has the least blocks? Who can tell me? Which pet has the least blocks? Very good. I'm going to leave you to do that one. Number five. How many pupils have hamster how many how many pupils have a hamster we're going to count again the blocks on top of the hamster or we can get our ruler and put it across the bar and see the last block in the hamster where does it go it goes to number and you put that number very good